in light of all of that then, what does an individual who holds to the Genesis paradigm, uh, what do they see when we look at these decay rates and all of that scientific evidence? How, how is it possible for these eight, uh, dates to look so old? Well, there was something systematically happening and we believed that the decay rate was going much faster in the past, it was accelerated. So that, for example, a lava flow down the bottom uh, that was, say, deposited in the first month of the flood year, mm -hmm. if we're looking at the flood paradigm, it would go through 11 months of, of radioactive decay at accelerated rates, whereas the lava flow that was, was formed at the end of the, of the, uh, the flood year would only go through a few weeks of accelerated radioactive decay. So it would give you a younger age compared to the one down the bottom. So it'd be like if you had a bunch of hourglasses that you started at an hour apart. Correct. They would all show different times. That's right, exactly. And that's what you get. Those that are the first form would have more sand grains fall to the bottom. Those that were later would have fewer sand grains and you get different ages. So you, you, you would still get a relative sense of age, uh -huh. which you do get visually anyhow. The layers at the bottom sure. are relatively older than the ones at the top. But how old? We can't automatically assume that we can determine that yeah. by the radioactive ages. We can get a relative sense, but not an absolute yeah. sense. 